Honestly, whenever Elon Musk reveals a new generation of Tesla robots, it sparks a public frenzy. Because before they actually appear, very few people believe that a humanoid robot capable of human-like manipulation could become a reality. But now, the Tesla Bot Gen 3 has fully confirmed that this is indeed true. Elon Musk unveiled a series of updates and plans for the Tesla Bot at Tesla's 2025 annual shareholder meeting. And if everything goes according to schedule, Tesla could start selling the Tesla Bot Gen 3 at any time later this year. With this version marking a major leap forward in the human-like hand capabilities that Tesla has long pursued. The, the, the scale of Optimus, I like I said, that's really going to be something else. I think it's going to be the biggest product of all time by far. Like bit bigger than cell phones. Gen 3 doesn't just stop at walking or recognizing its environment. It promises superhuman precision and manipulation, unlocking potential in healthcare, performing all household chores, serving as a translator in service industries, and supporting flexible manufacturing. Fields where robots previously could only observe and perform simple movements. In this episode, we'll explore at least three key questions. One. Why is Tesla prioritizing the development of the Tesla Bot Gen 3's manipulation capabilities first? 2. This bot is set to completely change the way humans work, but what will it cost, and who can actually afford to own one? And finally, how does Genesis 3 outperform its predecessor? Are its capabilities worth the price? Welcome to Tesla Car World. In the past, Tesla usually focused on developing walking, balance, and vision capabilities for previous Tesla Bot generations like Gen 1, 2, and 2.5, much like how they select specialized batteries for Tesla cars based on stability, efficiency, and safety criteria. However, with the Tesla Bot Gen 3, the goal is much higher, not just walking, but manipulating objects with human-like precision. As Elon Musk confirmed, this is just the V2 Optimus hand. The V3 hand is another level beyond this. Exactly, this is the human-like hand that Tesla has been pursuing. But even Elon Musk admits that the hand is the hardest part of producing the Tesla bot, and the company may need to dedicate up to 70% of its resources just to researching this hand. There's really three things that are super difficult about robots. One is the engineering of the forearm and hand, uh, because the human hand is an, an incredible, incredible thing, actually. It's Previous versions, like Gen 2, achieved a relatively human-like level of dexterity. But to be truly useful in healthcare, household work, or flexible manufacturing, Tesla needed a breakthrough. According to industry leaks, Gen 3 promises to surpass the limits of Gen 2, delivering super precise manipulation and exceptional reliability with hands that can work 24 per 7, without fatigue, without tremors, and handle tasks with millimeter level accuracy. We all know that the hand is the ultimate limit for a robot to truly replace human labor. Elon understands that many companies can make robots that walk, turn, see, and hear. But a robot hand with 22 degrees of freedom, capable of haptic feedback, millimeter-level precision, and sophisticated coordination without programming every single motion, is the biggest barrier that keeps industrial robots limited to repetitive tasks. That is the mission of the Tesla Bot Gen 3, with its 22 degree of freedom hand, poised to bring a real breakthrough in humanoid robotics. This design comes with an emphasis that the Optimus Gen 3 will not just move objects, but manipulate them with human level or even superior precision. This is the key to enabling it to provide health care for humans, delivering medication, performing microsurgery, supporting patients, operate professionally as a true homemaker, cooking, cleaning, doing laundry, and in flexible manufacturing, it can grasp anything and work adaptively without the need for specialized production lines like traditional fixed industrial robots. According to analysts, Tesla is taking the human-level dexterity-first approach to establish a unique monopoly in the market. While other robotics companies typically focus on locomotion, computer vision, balance, and power systems, Musk prioritizes sophisticated multitask manipulation. This shows that the Optimus Gen 3 is designed to participate in the economy as a human replacement, not just a customizable machine. The large-scale productivity that Musk refers to doesn't come from a team of walking robots, but from robots with flexible hands capable of performing any task that humans do with their hands. This is the most powerful economic leverage. That's why Musk said, V3 is another level beyond this. He implied that V2 had achieved functional human-like dexterity, but V3 aims for superhuman precision and reliability. With hands more accurate than a human's, the robot can perform medical procedures with machine-level precision, 
operate 24 per 7 without fatigue, work in hazardous environments, and maintain steadiness and timing without error. The leap from V2 to V3 marks the transition from a useful robot to a superior economic robot. Therefore, robot generations that still rely on limited manipulation capabilities seem insufficient for the Tesla bot to truly become an economic machine in human life. The best solution may be to upgrade the hands and manipulation abilities while using cheaper sensors and mechanical components that deliver superior performance. And Tesla appears to be taking this approach with Gen 3. But what exactly does this super precise manipulation entail? And why is it so important for a truly useful robot? Explaining the robot's manipulation mechanism in detail can be complex, especially since most of us aren't robotics engineers. At a basic level, you can think of Gen 3 as being able to grasp, rotate, and coordinate objects like a human, and that's true. But this simple explanation doesn't fully convey why Genesis 3's hand represents such a leap forward. And that's the key point. This Tesla bot is set to completely change the way humans work, but what will Gen 3 cost? Currently, in version 2.5, it can move independently, navigate office spaces, recharge itself, and perform basic tasks. But according to Musk, the next generation, Optimus 3, will be a true leap forward. He described it by saying, when you see it, you'll think it's a person wearing a robot suit. Musk confirmed it will debut in the first quarter next year. Meanwhile, Tesla plans to refresh Optimus annually. Version 4 is expected in 2027 and version 5 in 2028. The company's goal is to release a new generation each year with major upgrades and exponentially increasing production capabilities. What really surprised the tech world was Musk's revelation about cost. Once Tesla reaches an annual production of over 1 million units, he believes the manufacturing cost per robot could be as low as $20,000. If achieved, that figure would be a true revolution in robotics and automation. At this price, Optimus could become a companion in every household and business, taking on roles from industrial labor, healthcare, and hospitality to assisting the elderly or people with disabilities. Musk also unveiled the boldest production goal ever, a line capable of producing 1 million robots per year in Fremont, then scaling to 10 million, 100 million, and eventually 1 billion robots per year, even potentially on Mars. It may sound like a joke, but Musk insists he's not exaggerating. Tesla is preparing for the fastest production scale-up in history for any complex, large-scale product. However, Musk is not a dreamer disconnected from reality. He acknowledged that to reach that scale, Tesla would need to build a massive chip factory. We'll probably have to build a giant chip factory. This is something we have to do. With millions of robots and self-driving cars relying on high-performance chips, Tesla cannot depend on external suppliers. This move signals Musk's intention to turn Tesla into a serious powerhouse in the semiconductor and AI industries. With AI and robotics, Musk believes that we could expand the global economy by 10 times or even 100 times, a vision powerful enough to upend every traditional economic model. But along with that promise come countless challenges. Producing millions of robots requires a massive supply chain, components, software, cybersecurity, and cost control. A robot could replace a doctor, but it also raises ethical, privacy, and employment concerns. Tesla must demonstrate that this technology is safe, transparent, and designed to serve humans, not replace them. So, we want to help you better understand this manipulation capability, at least the main advantages it offers over Gen 2. How exactly does Gen 3 outperform its predecessor? Are its capabilities worth the cost? Simply put, the Gen 3 hand operates on a completely different mechanical and sensor system compared to Gen 2. While Gen 2 could grasp and move simple objects, the Gen 3 hand features multi-joint control with haptic feedback, allowing each finger to coordinate intricately, convey more sensory information, and perform tasks with millimeter-level precision. In terms of precision, Gen 3 prototypes have demonstrated the ability to achieve superhuman-level manipulation performing repetitive tasks continuously without fatigue, maintaining perfect timing, and executing complex actions like medical procedures or sophisticated manufacturing. This means Generation 3 has the potential to carry out complex tasks that Generation 2 could not, enhancing efficiency and practical usefulness in real life. And guess what? This capability opens the door for the Tesla bot to truly participate in the economy.
from factories to hospitals without the need for constant human supervision. Although we'll have to wait for Tesla to officially release Gen 3 to see the full specifications, current leaks indicate that the robot will achieve manipulation precision at least on par with humans, but with significantly higher reliability and speed. What's particularly impressive is that the Gen 3 hand mechanism combines high precision with energy efficiency, allowing the robot to operate longer without frequent maintenance. Of course, there will be different versions. The advanced version is expected to offer extremely sophisticated manipulation, with a slightly higher price, aimed at customers or businesses that prioritize maximum precision. As mentioned, the Gen 3 hand truly represents a bigger leap than any previous technology, a massive competitive advantage that helps Tesla lead the humanoid race. In fact, each Gen 3 hand can perform thousands of different actions without programming each individual movement, saving significant time and cost. It may sound complex, but on a mass production scale, this efficiency could completely change how robots are deployed in daily life and manufacturing, ushering in an era of truly versatile robots. Moreover, the hand mechanism and mechanical materials of the Tesla Bot Gen 3 are extremely durable and environmentally friendly. Recycled materials make up a high proportion of the joints and robot casing, consuming only about 5% of the energy compared to using virgin materials, significantly reducing the carbon footprint and environmental cost of large-scale robot production. The force sensors and control mechanisms of Gen 3 use chemically inert and high heat-resistant designs, up to 200 degrees Celsius. This eliminates the risk of overheating or failure from continuous operation, a problem previous generations of robots still faced. Tests in Tesla laboratories have shown that the Gen 3 hand can withstand extreme conditions such as impacts, compression, and strong vibrations without losing precision or generating excessive heat. With an operating temperature range from 5 to 85 degrees Celsius, Gen 3 can work efficiently in almost any environment from cold factories in northern Europe to hot and humid warehouses in China. This level of stability and safety not only protects the robot, but also helps reduce maintenance costs and operational risks, making Gen 3 an ideal choice for businesses looking to deploy versatile robots. One of the biggest barriers for humanoid robots today is manipulation speed and quick recovery when performing multiple tasks. The new hand mechanism and controller of Gen 3 represent a major leap forward, with extremely fast feedback and movement in a short time allowing the robot to complete a series of complex tasks without interruption. Of course, these figures are based on prototype-level testing, but they demonstrate Gen 3's true potential for continuous operation. With the improved controller, the actual manipulation speed can reach an optimal level for completing tasks in homes, manufacturing, or healthcare, performing repetitive actions in just a few seconds. While it hasn't achieved the absolute super speed of theoretical limits, Gen 3, can still operate much faster and more accurately than its predecessors. In our view, this fast and safe manipulation capability could remove one of the biggest psychological barriers to robot deployment, concerns about reliability and efficiency in real-world environments. One of the major concerns for businesses and users when considering humanoid robots is maintenance cost and lifespan. For typical robots, these costs can make up a significant portion of total ownership, causing customers to worry about long-term expenses. We're not saying you won't have to consider maintenance at all with Gen 3. However, based on testing data, one of Gen 3's biggest advantages is its superior mechanical longevity and durability. The hands and mechanical structures of Gen 3 use high-quality materials that are wear-resistant and chemically stable, helping to minimize mechanical failure or performance degradation over time. In previous robot generations, joints and servos were prone to slipping or wearing down, reducing manipulation accuracy. Generation 3 experiences fewer of these issues thanks to optimized design and materials, maintaining reliability even after thousands of hours of continuous operation. No robot lasts forever, but multiple tests indicate that Gen 3 can operate effectively for 10,000 hours of continuous manipulation, equivalent to over 10 years of use in industrial or household service conditions. In comparison, previous generation robots typically only achieved around 3,500 to 4,000 hours or three to four years of continuous operation. For users and businesses, this translates to lower maintenance costs, higher reliability, and an optimized total cost of ownership, all reinforcing Generation 3's position as a versatile, durable humanoid robot that is genuinely useful in daily life and production. Currently, one of the challenges for the Tesla Bot Gen 3 is reduced manipulation performance and haptic feedback, 
when operating in extremely cold environments, particularly below minus 20 degrees Celsius, which affects the ability to perform tasks accurately and maintain speed in cold regions such as northern Europe, Canada, or the northern U.S. states. In testing, Gen 3's force feedback speed and finger coordination decreased significantly at temperatures below zero degrees Celsius, and the ability to complete delicate tasks could drop an additional 10 to 20 percent in freezing conditions. For businesses or users prioritizing efficiency and reliability, this may raise concerns about practicality, especially compared to humans who are barely affected by cold weather. That's all we could gather about Gen 3's manipulation capabilities in extreme conditions, a promising step that could completely change how we perceive useful humanoid robots in daily life and industrial settings. However, it's important to emphasize that all conclusions remain preliminary. We'll have to wait for the official launch of Tesla Bot Gen 3 to get a complete and accurate picture of its real-world performance. Based on the information available so far, it's clear that Gen 3 represents a major leap fully aligned with Tesla's mission to bring humanoid robots closer to everyday life and work. Of course, the hand and manipulation capabilities are only part of the story. For Gen 3 to truly succeed, Tesla must win over users not only through advanced engineering, the overall design, control software, intelligent manipulation experience, and the elimination of unnecessary mechanical components will all play key roles in keeping production costs as low as possible. According to leaked prototypes, Gen 3 eliminates several expensive mechanical components found in previous generations, replacing them with a simpler design that still maintains technical precision and aesthetics. This change helps reduce manufacturing costs while preserving the refined and flexible manipulation capabilities that Tesla aims for. For decades, when people imagined robots and artificial intelligence, the images that came to mind were shaped by science fiction films that could walk, talk, and serve breakfast in a futuristic kitchen. But in reality, that dream has always felt out of reach. The idea of a machine standing in a kitchen, making a sandwich, or opening a refrigerator to grab a drink sounded almost absurd. Cooking and cleaning require more than strength. They demand dexterity, adaptability, and the fine motor control of the human hand, something even the most advanced machines have struggled to replicate. Over the past year, Optimus has been trained 20 hours a day at Tesla's research center in Palo Alto, California. What makes this process revolutionary is how it learns. Instead of being programmed line by line like traditional robots, Optimus learns autonomously through the sim to reel method, similar to how humans learn by observing and practicing. It can watch tutorial videos, observe humans making a sandwich or wiping a table, and then replicate the actions inside a virtual environment. In that simulation, it makes mistakes, analyzes them, and gradually improves until it reaches near-perfect performance. This continuous learning loop allows Optimus Gen 3 to master new tasks every day, from preparing breakfast to clearing a table, all the way to organizing the kitchen neatly. What would you want to use the Tesla Bot Gen 3 for first? What is the maximum price you'd be willing to pay for Optimus? Please share your opinion in the comments section below this video. Thanks for watching our video. Subscribe now so you don't miss the next breaking Tesla update. It's coming in just two days. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla Bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.